please do us a solid and like and subscribe. Help us share our videos so we can reach the people in our area. You can help us spread the red dirt word. Hey everybody, this is Brian with Red Dirt Cryptids. Thanks for tuning in. I'm headed over east, over to northeast Oklahoma to one of our undisclosed locations. And uh, we are going to see what we can do to come up with some evidence. We're going to spend the night, hopefully, unless the mosquitoes get too bad. And uh, we're going to be basically in the middle of nowhere which is kind of the way we like it so it is kind of a local fishing spot hopefully we don't have too many people out there fishing but uh one way or the other we're, we're going to be there anyway we'll take you with us anyway don't forget to uh like and subscribe and all that good stuff and i appreciate you coming along with us Good thing I got skid plates. It looks like this was one hell of a muddy mess previously. What is it? Oh, you just get close to that water, it's just blast of heat. Uh, water's an odd color. Well, you can definitely tell summer. I don't know. Yeah, that right there might be some, there might be some tracks over there. Hard to tell from here. I don't know if it. Well, there. This tra Hey, look. This trail goes through there. Right. Do you see any? I don't see any. This over here doesn't look very convenient. And watch out for snakes.
much over here. some more. Possible. That one's, that one's not bad right there. Here's another. I mean, what if these are them walking on Yes, these are awesome. My legs aren't getting chewed up right now. <laughs> Snake gator. I don't even feel the, I don't even feel the, the leaves. Well, they would be worth it if they just worked only on thorny vine. Oh, it is definitely summer. Is that a plane? Yes. He's got the sound amplifying. Supersonic hearing with my ear. Hey, they work really good unless it's really windy. And then they're practically worthless. So, they'd be great any other state than Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, so this is the area that we found using satellite imagery we could see it from space and we figured this would be a good place to come look for tracks and we may not get lucky but i would say this might be a good place and it might be a good place to get malaria what kind of mushroom is that holy shit look at this dude is that a footprint no. That's no, that can't be. It looks like it would be going that way. Is but. there a trackway? Sometimes guys you find stuff like that just Yeah, I don't see another one.
Hey guys. All right, so we are set up, okay? We're out here at a location where there have been reports of dog men and um, Sasquatch as well. We are, as you can probably see, on the edge of a lake. And we've got our vehicles set up. There's Eric. And uh, Coleman is at home with a sick kid. We got shade. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. That's what the tarp is for. As you can see, I and Eric both have our bus to squatch lights rigged up so that if something does come in tonight, here's my sleeping quarters. And over there is my Jeff Foxworthy whatever air conditioning cooler. I've actually used that before and it works pretty good. And as you guys can see, probably nothing's gonna try to sneak up on us from that direction, but it's possible. I'm guessing whatever it is, will come up around here. So we'll set the thermal imaging camera up to where it has the ability to scan back and forth across here but we'll just have to wait sun is going down and it won't be long i'm ready okay so the sun is on its way down we decided it's cooling off a little bit as usual i've got my thermal imaging camera mounted on the rotating bezel cords going into the vehicle so I can observe this area and Mr. Eric has the camera or the, the uh, ca uh, camcorder recording straight out in front, which will cover this whole area. And he's going to be playing his SpongeBob SquarePants there. And he's also got his black box video camera both of which have uh moderate night vision it's not uh high end but anything that comes in close we should be able to pick it up or if the moon's out real good we'll have luck we'll see maybe maybe they'll be interested in spongebob tonight we shall see but anyway as you can see the sun is Getting low, getting low, getting low, getting low. I'm ready. Inside the vehicle, the mosquitoes drove me out. It was, it's about midnight now, and I am running the thermal from the inside of my car with the air conditioner on. It's a little noisy. You can kind of see the uh, cargo basket of my car here. I'll say.
Okay, here we go. We found this weird tree. I'm sure there's some kind of natural phenomenon. It looks like something's been peeling the bark all the way up. This tree has been busted off. This whole area, there's a lot of downed tree. I don't know, mean anything? No, I mean, this could be bugs. I, I, don't, I don't know. This whole place over here though, it's kind of creepy and weird. I gotta admit though, I'm not feeling anything here, are you? Fascinated with all these trees with- but No heebie-jeebies? I don't feel like we're being watched. Not here, not now. Looks like the beavers have been at it. I think the Sasquatches would eat the beavers. <laughs> Okay, we no more than got here to this cornfield. Eric found what's possible. Here's one, two. These are not very good. As you can tell, well, this one, it kind of sunk in. Doesn't look very wide. kind of Very narrow heel here. There's multiple others. Um, here's one. Do you notice how the toes, like this one, the toes kind of angle down? I mean, it's suspect. Here's, see that little piece of mud right there between the toes? You know? at that that's uh find any more they come out from here wow what a trackway like, I don't know if this one here has detail let me measure it is 11 and a half to the big toe. Four and a half, four and a half wide. That's uh, that's possible. Look at that one. That's uh, that one's pushing castable. I mean, you can almost see the the toe ridges on on that one. Holy moly. Let's see. Here's some more. One, two, three. It looks like the tracks are offset. They look more human here. But, uh, you know, I think this, I mean, they were out here looking for something 
they weren't going from point A to point B. I mean, that does not look like a normal, normal footprint. Several of these have toe definition, dude. Huh? Several of these have toe definition. Yes. yes. I mean, there's one. There's another one. God, it's kind of hard not to walk on them. This trackway. All right, let's slip right here. Let's, uh, let's measure this trackway. Heel to heel. 33. That's not very much, but this is not a... It's not a big footprint. I mean, this is not a big... Uh, Oh, look at this. Look at that one. See the toes? Yeah. This is, I mean, as you guys can see, kind of, it's... Kind of, this one here, look at these two. It's kind of unlikely. These two are standing like this, in this direction, but there's no toe definition. No. No. But that's the heel, that's the heel. Yeah, that one's kind of got a rounded one. That one almost looks like somebody was wearing a shoe. But, but then look at this one. This one. Wow. Hell, there's so many of them. I'm scared to step on them. Something's in this area. Four legged. Billa? Or something. Look at how wide that one is compared to how, whatever it was, was, I mean, look at this. Look at that one. You can see, there's a piece of dirt that comes up. You can take a look at this one and see how wide that footprint is you can see the dirt coming up between the toes there's another one i mean this this trackway just keeps going they they were walking up and down through here looking for something i mean I've only seen a couple that I think would be cast worthy. Okay. I lost the trackway. Whatever it was, it was right in here. Hmm. It doesn't. Maybe they were pulling up these corn plants, taking them with. I mean, looks like something, something was digging here. For what I don't know, but there's like a, there's a bunch of tracks and there's several plants that appear to be gone. Wow. I mean, I... these are very compelling. But where's the big ones? Where is the big ones? I don't see any more. I haven't already seen. There's several impressive ones here that are almost cast worthy. Most of these, though, are just not not worthy 
of a cast. I mean, look at that one. That one's small. There's two. It looks like there's two different ones here. There's a slightly larger one, a slightly smaller one. This one. This one's, I don't know, 10 inches long, nine and a half, four inches wide. Sorry, it's hard to take measurements and video at the same time. I mean, whatever it was, was tinkering around out here. Some of these have toe definition. See, this is the bigger individual. Uh, I've only seen what would be two. And that one's the bigger one. <laughs> Good stuff. This is fun. Out here. Yeah. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Barfoot. Run around hillbilly style. You tell me. No, well, I better get back to work. It looks like Eric is already working. At the other end of the cornfield, I found some canine type tracks measuring a little over four inches wide. Possible dog man. And these pictures don't do it any justice, but it was pretty impressive, but older. We, we changed locations. Uh, we weren't finding anything at the area that we were at. And we ended up meeting up with a gentleman who had an encounter um, a distance away from where we were just at. And so we met him over here. We came over here. He walked us through his encounter. He... Uh, he was totally cool with not being on camera, if you get my drift. And that's cool, well, that's, that's understandable. And, uh, but we were fortunate enough for him to tell us what he encountered here at this location. So we decided that we were going to set up camp here and see what happens. First thing that happened was, is we got out and we went for a walk in some of the corn fields that are over here. Um, and Eric immediately started finding footprints. Uh, some of the largest footprints I think that we found over there were 12 inches long, but they were barefoot. And again, that's, we're a long ways out to be running around barefooted. It looked like there was two individuals, one with the, that 12 foot, 12 inch, um, 12 inch footprint, one that was slightly smaller than that, maybe an inch smaller, maybe an inch and a half, two inches smaller. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I got some good video footage of that, which uh, you know you, you guys will see. And um, anyway, the sun is fixing to go down, and we were just sitting here uh, talking and kind of resting and stuff because we were. We did a lot of hiking earlier today. I don't know about you, I was pretty wore out. And over here, to the north of where we're at, we just heard the weirdest damn scream. And at first, my brain kind of, and even Eric, you thought it was a coyote at first. Yeah. But when we was listening to it, that was not a coyote, I mean, it. To be honest with you, there towards the end, it really sounded human. Like somebody screaming in pain or something. I, I don't know what that was. It, it was off in the distance. It wasn't super loud. I mean, we had to struggle to hear it, but that was weird. I don't know what that was, but it definitely got our attention. Unfortunately, I had not set out the audio recorder yet, so we did not catch it. But the audio recorder is now deployed. So hopefully, um, 
hopefully he's in a karaoke mood tonight and he'll be doing that again. Um, we went ahead, we got all of our squatch lights set up. I've got my thermal imaging camera set up, ready to rock and roll. And we're basically, again, we're waiting for dark, right? And uh, maybe we're waiting for the mosquitoes, I don't know. Last night, about 11 o'clock rolled around and the mosquitoes came out. That was ridiculous. And uh, Eric's already got his bug suit on. And uh, last night, I don't have any long pants. And I ended up wrapping up in a blanket. And then that just wasn't working. So I ended up retreating to the car. I just said to hell with it. That's one good thing that, about the way we do things is we can still squatch from inside our vehicles and that's that's positive any sounds anything can be um, caught on audio we can still get video footage although as tired as I am right now I think the the squatch would have to come up and shake the car to wake me up <laughs> When I fall asleep tonight, it's going to be hard. I'm tired now, man. I, I barely got any sleep last night. I know. <clears throat> these long weekends are hard. I come home from these things, and I give my wife a kind of a, one of those hug with distance, you know. And I go take a shower, and I usually go take a nap, depending on what time I get home last time we did this I didn't get home till late man so sometimes you know if it's five six o'clock you just cannot just go to sleep right then you got to stay up till nine then go to bed so anyway See the direction that I'm pointing? Yeah. There's a tree over there that's at a less than a 45 degree angle. And behind it, something kind of black, low to the ground. I thought I seen it move a couple of times. Open it. Yep. You see the tree I'm talking about? It's leaning to the left. Yes. It's kind of light in color. Just above the base of it. so there wasn't no cows over there was there no that cow noise just came from the cornfield that we just walked is weird. So that tree looks parts of that tree is whiter. It's just weird looking. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't see it moving now. Those 
gunshot. There's no way that was a tree knock. Okay, there's the creek. Now we're going to scan a little bit. Let's go up a tiny bit. There's something. I don't think it's anything. Sorry, I'm in my car and I'm running the air conditioner. My Jeff Foxworthy Icy Cool. And I guess that's it. Alright. We'll park it back there. And we'll wait for a we'll look again here in a little bit. So, we did not have any activity last night, but that could have been attributed to my sound sleeping. Eric did sleep very good. We um, got up this morning trying to put down a little coffee so I can function. But the plan is, is we're going to meet one of the locals. Uh, he wants to examine the footprints that we found before we cast them. And we're gonna cast a few of them. And then we're gonna go eat breakfast at a local diner, which is not far away, believe it or not. And then we're gonna come back and uh, collect said samples. And then we will probably head, we'll head home. Uh, that's, that's the game plan for Sunday morning. So, right now, it's absolutely wonderful out here. We've been slowly breaking camp a little bit at a time. And uh, we're just sitting around enjoying watching watching the uh, Cardinals and the, um, what are they? Um, woodpeckers. Uh, woodpeckers. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. Sitting here watching them fly around. The woodpeckers they have over here in this area are kind of, they sound funny compared to the ones back home. And there's a lot more of them out here. I mean, it's kind of unusual uh, back in Kingfisher County to see a woodpecker, really. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We're sitting around 
soaking up some caffeine and uh, waiting. That suits me just fine. When we get over there and uh, cast the prints, we'll we'll bring you with over there. So yeah. Good thing I work next to a wood shop. Then we had a little bit of time to kill, so we went and got some breakfast. All right, here we are. They've been poured. And let's see how dry they are. They're pretty dry. Yeah, kind of go around the outside. That way when you pull it out of there, it doesn't, sorry, doesn't suction cup in the ground like your, your boot does when it's in the mud. toe death maybe pretty good man i'd like to have been out here two weeks ago two, three weeks ago when these were fresh 